welcome to the event today. Uh, you are Executive Vice President and Capture Practice Lead for Zia Consulting. You're here working in co-sponsorship with Episoft, here to talk about integrated capture, AI, robotic process automation, machine learning. Wow, that's a complete digital transformation. Tell us more. All righty. Well, thanks for the intro. Um, so I'm here to talk to you about all those things that we've been discussing, but really how we're going to do this integration, because there's more than one piece to the puzzle. And um, we're going to talk about all those different pieces as we go along. So let's first define what those things are. And so robotic process automation, and I know you guys have been hearing a lot about this today. And so I'm not going to try to inundate you with really deep um, discussion or definitions around this, but um, RPA or robotic process automation is essentially configuring a robot to emulate simple tasks of a person and interact with digital systems. And so that could be checking email, looking to see what that email is, um, routing it appropriately, interacting with web tools. Um, I consider it a lot of like BPM or BPA um, on the desktop. And so there's a lot of things that make that easier integration and can automate people's tasks. Artificial intelligence is software that mimics human behavior by learning various data patterns um, and getting insights from those and, and then just moving kind of like the, the handshake between ML and AI and machine learning is a subset of AI where the process of teaching the computer system to make accurate predictions of the data. Um, but why we're here today is to talk about intelligent document capture, which is a process, the process of identifying and extracting information off of documents. Um, so how does that drive those different processes? Um, so anytime you have a document-centric process, um, that's kind of an unknown document. And so you have to first classify that and extract information to then automate pieces. So within the RPA rule, um, world, it might be that there's an attachment on email. And that might be defined as a claim. And so I have to route that to a particular, um, particular person to, to be able to deal with that claim. Um, or it could be that we're going to pull information off an invoice and then up, um, interact immediately with a web tool um, to make sure that we in, insert that invoice inside of an accounts payable system. Um, and so from the AI and ML perspective, it's, it's kind of confusing, at least, um, at least to me and I'm sure to you guys as well. Um, how does that play within intelligent document capture? So they're the aspects that we've been talking about where something can be created within ML or AI um, inside of the capture tool. And so it can get more intelligent for invoices. Um, but there also is the capability of how do we get that information that's unstructured, turn it structured, and then be able to feed other AI and ML tools. And so that also can feed into there. Uh, so let's go to the next. But let's talk about the problems and the requirements for this digital transformation. Uh, first of all, you know, like we're talking about the future when we're talking about AI and ML. I mean, there's a lot within the present, but there's a still a lot of manual processing still occurring. So it's like the baby steps of being able to go and get this digital transformation maturity. Um, and so there's, we're hearing about you know the current pandemic and and what's going on with with unemployment claims. And so. Um, you know, there are systems still written in COBOL from the 1970s. And so, you know, there's, there's some really low hanging fruit to be able to do what we need to do for this digital transformation um, within the capture world. And so just the capability of being able to deal with the sheer volume of the unemployment claims and be able to say, okay, this is, this is a claim, this is the person, enter it to a back end system is just, would just make today's world just so much easier. Um, another part with, um, and this is kind of, uh, you know, we're coming to you from a systems integrator standpoint, so we're looking at all the different trends and the capabilities and the tools out there, as opposed to the people that, that are vending a tool, um, a specific tool, is that there's a bunch that are out there. And so um, that creates problems in itself, right? Because there's now there's too many point solutions um, and maybe not all fitting to the requirements of the entire enterprise. And this requires IT staff to be knowledgeable in all those tool sets. It requires operators to understand how to deal with exceptions in those tool sets in many, uh, in many cases. Um, so investments need to be standardized and utilized throughout the enterprise. Um, that way, and that actually rhymes quite a bit, um, to obtain a better return on investment. Um, there's many capture solutions or one dimensional or point solutions. 
And so solutions are not cloud ready or they're only cloud available. Um, others do not have an on-premise story in which sometimes it is desired for security reasons or compliance reasons. And then some solutions are difficult to integrate and they can't deal with seasonal volume fluctuations. They cannot expanding their offering to have, give you the capability of doing this ML and AI capabilities. Um, so you have to look for all of those. And then of course, um, a lot of people mentioned this today, administrations and operations needs to be accessible from the web. Um, there's too many capture solutions that are still out there that require something to be installed on a client desktop. Um, one of the lessons learned from the current pandemic, as we've mentioned before, is that we need business continuity. Uh, people need to be able to do their jobs from anywhere that's internet enabled. So let's start talking about how we actually solve this. They, 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 they kind of integrate with anything that is the capture tool, uh, but they still need those capabilities of being able to classify documents and extract documents. And, and of course, you know, you, you'll, you can go to any of the vendors of, uh, um, within the RPA and you'll see that all the logos or most of the logos, there are some sort of integration. But what's important here is that it does all these other things as well. And so you can leverage your different configuration um, to be able to apply to that RPA robot. So something you might have already trained, now you can actually integrate with your know, RPA. Within the self-service um, self portal world, um, you might be able to give instantaneous feedback. And so if you have an underwriting self-service portal and somebody's giving information and they might be delivering a W-2, you can immediately tell them that's the wrong year of W-2 as opposed to going to an underwriter, going back to them and then having that interaction going through. Um, and then, of course, the ECM traditional story, you know, being able to get the documents in, understand what those documents are, extract information on, create metadata, that way it can be found, um, which we've been talking about, as well as creating taxonomies, that way you can uh, find the right document and, and, and file it appropriately, uh, put the right records management um, um, story to it and everything else. Um, so what's important about this is you see that this, this graphic has, you know, all these things entailed within the, the episode graphic in the middle. Um, and so once you set it up for one channel, you can utilize it through all of those. And so it might be that you create a mortgage configuration or you have a mortgage configuration. That's something that we actually create an accelerator at Zia Consulting. Um, and then you wanted to start with, uh, with uh, underwriting. Um, and so you start with the underwriting, but then you actually want to use that configuration for servicing. And then you want to be able to do it through your mailroom, through your mobile, through your self-service portal. All that is available to you. And then there's a ton of different out-of-the-box integrations with Episoft and a framework so you can actually expand them anymore. So why is Zia? I um, spent a lot of time talking about Episoft. Um, you're hearing from a lot of vendors today, um, some solution providers, um, but one of the big differentiators is that we're a solutions integrator. And so we work with technologies like FSOC for intelligent data um, document capture, but we also work with content repositories, robotic process automation, um, we're integration experts. And we don't provide technology, but we provide solutions. And so we know how to utilize these tools, put them together, put them in your line of business systems and make your process more efficient. We've worked in many verticals, ranging from insurance, mortgage, manufacturing, energy, government, and back office horizontal processes like accounts payable and onboarding. So that's important when I come to that return on investment. So we might start talking to you about one thing, which is you need to address today because you need digital transformation within that system, but then now you can leverage that investment and start utilizing it for back-end systems. So you might start with something like accounts payable but then you realize that you want to do offboarding, uh, offboarding and onboarding um, capabilities as well. Um, or you might start something with like mortgage and then go back into the back office. Um, we work as your partner not to push technology, but create solutions that meet your business goals and fits within your budget. And our experience and knowledge allows us to give the best advice that can help you achieve success with your implementations. So let us be your partner and capture concierge. So looking at next steps, what should you do now? Um, as many people were talking about today, review your processes. Um, figure out what you can actually do. What's the low-hanging fruit? How can you optimize your processes um, with tools that you might already have or incorporate tools with other tools that you now um, that you own right now? Um, take a look at a way that you actually don't have to, you know, solve the all the problems of your enterprise. But what are the ones that are going to have the biggest impact? 
and create a process to implement in an agile fashion and push those out to production as quickly as possible. And go to our website. There's a couple of uh, newer white papers that we have, and of course that we have a, a bunch of information on our website at ziaconsulting.com. Two of the ones that we recommend is the five tech trends in 2020 to accelerate digital transformation and the six essential elements of intelligent content acquisition technology. Um, those should be on the PDF with links, and so it makes it a little bit easier to download those. And with that, please, let's have the conversation. This is an awkward type of thing just sitting in my basement or in my basement office and talking to my computer. I prefer to have a conversation that we can actually figure out what exactly you're thinking um, in the lines of, where, where does your future go? Um, you know, how, how can we help you incorporate solutions? So reach out to me. Let's have a conversation. And go to our website at ziaconsulting.com for more information about what we do.